Hi, I'm Joe Saunders with Miniature Landscape Hobbies. Today, we're gonna to look at a quick hack for setting up your models for painting. When you're first setting out as a model painter, one of the most important strategies you can do is prepare your models correctly for painting. So one thing that often frustrates new painters is figuring out how to get a nice smooth finish, how to avoid smudges, how to get that really pristine, refined look to their models. And the key to this isn't really all that complex. Miniature painting is really about, uh, just like anything else, is really about practice. But one thing that you can do that gives yourself a big boost is to prepare the model for painting correctly finding a way to uh, mount it on a peg or a dowel, something that will keep your fingers away from the model so you don't smudge your paint or your washes in the painting process. It's very, very important and gives you that uh, smooth, refined look. I have about 30 years of experience as a miniature painter, so I'd like to detail to you how I mount my models for painting. But first, let's look at some of the other options people use. There's the blue tack technique, where you use uh, some blue tack or some other type of non-permanent adhesive to attach the model to the top of a nail or a peg. But I never find this, that this works. Or there's the uh, hot glue technique, where you put hot glue on the top of your dowel or peg and fasten the model to the top. But I always find when I do this, I burn my fingers and it still doesn't work. There are, of course, some products out there to help you solve this problem, different sorts of uh, holders for holding your models when you're painting. But uh, the problem with this is that they all cost money. Some of them can be fairly expensive. And uh, when it comes to that, you know, I would rather just buy models. I don't really want to spend my hard-earned cash on something that doesn't allow me to directly enjoy the hobby. So let's take a look at my quick method. You don't need anything special for this. In fact, just exactly what comes with the model and then your regular basic model building tools. So you need your sprue cutters, you need a, a pin vise, and you probably want a pretty good uh, drill bit on the uh, pin vise. You need the model itself, so I have a BDRM 2 by Battlefront here, one of my favorite models for Team Yankee. And then, of course, you need a craft knife, and lastly, you need the sprue that the model itself came on. It also helps to have some plastic glue handy. So let's get started. So take the model and flip it over, and using your pin vise, just go to the middle of the model and screw a hole into the bottom, drill a hole right in there. Now, fortunately, Modern models are usually plastic and hollow, so that makes this possible. If you uh, have an older model with, that's either metal or pewter or even lead, it's going to be a little bit harder, but you can still do it. Okay, then after the hole is drilled in, go to the sprue and find a nice straight piece of sprue. Uh, this one here is good. So take your clippers and clip it right off the frame. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the sprue clip. You can go ahead and cut the nubs and other protruding pieces right off the sprue. And I like to leave a, a straight piece on as a peg to form a bit of a shelf under the model. Then flipping the model over, just go ahead and slot it into the bottom. Sometimes it doesn't always fit. So uh, get your craft knife and just widen it out ever so slightly. There we go. Put the peg back in. And if it fits just with friction and holds the model, you're done. And obviously when you're finished uh, painting, you can just pull the peg right out. If it fits a little loose, you can just take a small dab of uh, plastic glue in there to hold it in place. And when you're done, you can either use a little more force to extract the peg, or you can cut it off at the base of the model with your cutters. So when I'm done, I like to take a little piece of styrofoam, just stick the models into it, 
which keeps them held up and away from uh, all the mess on my work surface. And uh, I can use it to keep the models out of the way between coats so they can dry. Do remember though that if you do this process, don't base coat the models with uh, spray paint while they're sitting on the styrofoam because uh, the propellant and spray paints will melt the styrofoam. And there you have it, really simple. Here's the finished product without any fingerprints or smudges thanks to this technique. If you have a similar painting hack you'd like to tell us about, make sure you put it in the comments below. Also, feel free to subscribe to our channel and remember to press the bell button to receive notifications of future videos.